Tonight, a capital murder arrest warrant is being prepared for, for Don Stephen McDougall, the man suspected of killing 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham. This afternoon, the Polk County Sheriff confirmed they found Audrey's body in the Trinity River. She had not been since seen since she left with McDougall to go to a Livingston school bus stop. Thursday, one she never arrived to. k Jennifer Kielman has more. A tragic ending to a search that's rocked the community of Livingston for nearly a week. My heart aches with this news, and I express with my deepest sympathies and condolences to everyone who knew, who cared for, and loved Audrey. Audrey Cunningham was last seen near her home February 15th, heading to catch the school bus, but she never made it to the bus and never made it to school. The family's home is near Lake Livingston, which is one of the largest reservoirs in the state. After a days-long search by several agencies, her body was found in the Trinity River after authorities lowered the water level so divers could reach the area. The Trinity River runs into the lake. We will continue to process the evidence that has been gathered to ensure that the justice for Audrey. The county district attorney is now preparing an arrest warrant for 42-year-old Don Stephen McDougall, who is already in custody on unrelated aggravated assault charges. At this time, we believe the appropriate arrest warrant is going to be for capital murder in the death of Audrey Cunningham. The Polk County Sheriff says McDougall is a friend of Audrey Cunningham's father and lives in a trailer on their property. McDougall even aided in the search efforts. The sheriff says they're waiting on information about the cause of Cunningham's death from the medical examiner. And Audrey Cunningham was a fifth grader at Livingston Elementary School. In a statement tonight, the superintendent reminds parents that children can have varied reactions to the death of a classmate from anger to crying. The superintendent told parents, quote, if you see your child struggling to please call your campus office, we will put you in touch with a school counselor. He went on to say, please keep Audrey's family, teachers, friends and community in your thoughts and prayers as they grieve this tragic loss.